Hi, so we're making sausage pepper penne, and all the things that you need are right here. I bought them today at Sobeys. Actually, sausage was $3.50, and green pepper, red pepper, uh, yeah, tomato sauce, diced tomatoes, penne pasta, and parmesan cheese, and then of course some spices. I forgot to buy yellow onions, but you can use a red onion or um, onion powder, but I should have had a white or yellow onion. Um, it's cheaper to buy just Italian uh, mix rather than um, all of the ones that make up Italian, like parsley, you know, basil, oregano. Um, it's all in one right here, super easy. And you don't even need it, but if you um, want it to taste better, I would use it. Two pots on the stove. Um, one, the fry pan is for the sausages. Now you can just straight up fry them, but I want to make sure they're cooked all the way through. So I'm going to boil them before I um, then fry them. Frying will bring out the really good taste as they sit in their fat, but boiling them beforehand will make sure that they're thick, uh, cooked all the way through because they're so thick. And here, this is going to be for the pasta, and we're not putting salt in it until it's completely boiling. If you put it in when the water's cold, it takes longer to dissolve. The salt falls to the bottom of the pot and scars the pot. So we wait till it's at a full boil, and then we throw in the salt before the pasta. Real cool time saver way to cut your peppers is um, to go right down like this, holding the stem, and that way you don't need to worry too much about the seeds. Um, it works really well if your knife is sharp but it just uh, saves a lot of time. Okay, so that's really boiling now. So that's when we're gonna add our salt, quite a bit of it. And then throw in the pasta. Whole box, because nobody really likes saved leftover pasta. Give it an immediate stir to keep it from sticking and put the timer on for the exact amount of time that it sits on the box. Also, I've turned both burners down just a little um, from 10, just because once they come to a boil, they just need to keep sort of a, a slight simmer to keep cooking at that extreme hot temperature. And I did add one minute to the cooking time because I don't prefer my pasta al dente. I like it a little bit softer than that. Al dente is a bit chewy for me. So we're just gonna let those boil away for eight more minutes. Also, my red peppers were organic, so I didn't have to wash those, but this green pepper was on sale and it was not organic. So I made sure that I washed that really well because peppers are one of the things most heavily sprayed because they're sweet, so they attract bugs. Rachel Ray says the easiest way to cut an onion is to go from uh, like one slice in back toward where the root was and then simply do this and you can either just slice it you don't go all the way back either just slightly and then you can either have slices or if you're making a salad or quesadilla you could then dice them but I just want slices for the penne all right, so when we drain the pasta, we're going to save a little wee bit of that starch water underneath the colander there, uh, just like that, so that it will stick to the sauce when we put it on. Not a lot, you know, quarter, third of a cup. And just because we wanted to boil the sausage Beforehand, we're not really going to test for doneness. That's just good enough. The amount of time that it took to boil the pasta, we put the sausage on first. That's good enough. Then we transfer that to a cutting board, let it cool down so we can cut it up in slices. The cans are already open for the tomato sauce. The vegetables are already chopped, ready to go. So we just need to get those sausages out of the pan. So they'll start to cool down enough for us to handle them so that we can slice them. So I am dirtying another pot. Um, we need a pot big enough on the stove on a low gentle heat to assemble all this stuff together um, to finish off the meal. So the heat doesn't need to be very much because most of the food is, is hot already. But we are going to put a little bit of oil in the pan. And once that has a chance to heat up, then we're going to put the uh, 
sliced peppers and onions in there to saute those to whatever consistency we like to eat. All right, it's time to put the vegetables in the large pan. The oil has been heating up for about three minutes. I was out of fresh garlic and I actually was out of my substitute standby a bottled garlic in the fridge so I had to revert to garlic powder. Not really a great substitute but I love garlic so I'm not going to go without it completely. So I did use the garlic powder and just put those in there. Make sure you stir it right away with the oil coating all the veggies. Properly saute it to the consistency that you like to eat it, and then we'll add the sauce. We're actually going to increase the temperature on those vegetables a little bit to get those sauteed in a good amount of time. I always buy Italian sausage when I'm making sausage pepper penne. I've tried the garlic, which I would like on its own, but not in this authentic Italian dish. Uh, and Johnsonville has the gluten-free sausage. We have a celiac in the house, so yay Johnsonville. Thank you for that. It's not always easy to find sausage without wheat breadcrumbs. Once the vegetables are just still crispy, and it seems like most people in my house pick around them anyway, so while making them the way I like them, which is still a little, little crispy, just before I add the sausage to brown that up a little, I'm going to add the Italian seasoning. The garlic powder is already in there. So one more minute maybe and then we'll add the sausage. All right, time to add the already sliced sausage. Okay, to allow their fat that they were sitting in to go into the dish as well. I just want to stir those around a little bit to get them a little brown because they taste better. Oops, guess what I forgot. Just throw those in. Yes, specific enough. Just until it looks yummy. That's what I think. Probably a favorite. Okay, everything's cooked now. So we should probably turn down the heat because once we add the tomato sauce, we don't want that bubbling right up on, on us. See how the pan is starting to get a little brown on the bottom there? That's going to make the sauce really taste great. And put that meaty taste with the fat through of the peppers as well. And now we're just going to add the diced tomatoes. Get on the hot side. I always add more canned tomatoes than it calls for, just because a large can is only 40 cents more than a small can. So let's have lots. And now the pasta. my reserved juice helps it stick that starchy juice helps the tomato sauce stick to the pasta and that's it we just sprinkle some parmesan cheese if you have it over the top which is the yummy final touch and we have pampered chef spicy sausage and peppers penne there you go